Hello Bendheads, my name is Nahuel Bilic and speaking to you from Buenos Aires, Argentina. In this second uh, video, quick video tip about how to do a net, uh, this is going to be the method B or second method or second way to do it, I'm going to see an alternative uh, technique to do it and probably come interesting for any many other uh, users. So, <clears throat> we're going to begin uh, the same as the last one. We're going to subdivide, but this time a bit more because I want to have a, a, a denser mesh. A mesh that I probably won't be able to uh, simulate if I uh, was uh, doing this on this uh, object directly. Again, we're going to take... This is just for... Uh, see how this is coming. We're going to take uh, this uh, decimate my fire and subdivide by one iteration. Apply this. Now we're going to hit uh, A E I A E. -E. We're going to do it an inset. <laughs> Control F uh, grid inset faces. <clears throat> and with F6 we're going to take this uh, mod, uh, these uh, operator options. And we're going to set this to be individual and unselect outer edges because I want to uh, have selected the center of the little squares. Again, let's bring this operator options. I'm going to do this uh, net strings a bit more. Uh, All right, there you go. A bit more uh, elegant, not so not so uh, thick. So this is our uh, net. This is our net. Net. There you go. Net. And the secret comes here. We're going to do a, sec a second uh, plane, which is going to be below the net, and it's going to be a bit bigger. than uh, the net. We're going to add a uh, solidify modifier. This is because I want to cover the entire net volume. All right. I don't know if you can see that thin black line there. It's my net. And then cover uh, this uh, net with uh, a kind of box. I want to show you this technique with this modifier, solidify modifier, because it may come handy uh, on many, many other different situations. So you can have this technique for other different uses. Again, I'm going to subdivide, but I'm going to subdivide enough to simulate the cloth. I don't want to be the mesh as dense as the net one, because uh, the idea of this technique is to simulate the net dynamic a little more quicker than if we have to simulate this complicated mesh okay now we're going to add to the net first let me change this the name of the cache in this case we're going to be this cache deform no spaces because python may have problems i have any script. Uh, I'm going to add to the net a modifier called mesh deform, mesh deform modifier and under uh, the object uh, rollout I'm going to select cache deform. Cache deform as you remember is this plane with the solidify modifier. Now I'm going to hit bind and this bind uh, should bind the vertex of the net to the vertex of the uh, plane with the solidify. To test it, I'm going to add only to test it a wave modifier. As you can see, the net is not being deformed, okay? And this may happen by a few reasons. One reason could be I'm going to deactivate the wave. Remember, the wave is just for uh, for testing. One reason could be that the ca the cage, the box, is not covering the entire volume of the plane. The, uh, this that is not happening here, it's full covered. 
the other thing could be that the normals of the of this box uh, would be in uh, pointing inside inside the box inwards but i can see by the view for um, for the color of view of this uh, object that the normals i are okay are all right so the last thing that could be happen here is that the binding process doesn't have doesn't have uh, enough precision we're going to give it one more point and bind now let's apply this again again it's not precise enough one last point and now we are seeing that it's taking some time if we have to use a precision of seven or even eight it's going to take much much more time in uh, at the process uh, probably if i had to do this net a little bit more uh, less subdivided not so uh, dense uh, with six would be fine but i need uh, at least seven in this case you have to pl play with that and try to first bind uh, with lower numbers and then go up to get uh, the results so now I, if I uh, turn on this, the modifier, the, the way modifier of the cache, I'm going to set the cache to be rendered in the viewport as a bound. We can see that net moves, okay? Because it was bind uh, successfully to our plane. Now we're going to take out this and we're going to um, set uh, all the parameters of the cloth from the last video uh, into this uh, deformation cage plane with the solidify modifier. Select the four vertex, set it to a group, assign the group, control H to add a hook, cloth, mass of height, structure by two, thickness by no, you have to play with this because uh, my size. I'm going to. I am using the standard cubes, uh, the standard plane size. Uh, might not be the one that you have in your scene. So play with the with the different uh, parameters and uh, do um, keep the ones you like. This is just for this tutorial. Okay, and now I should have. A, web, a net that is falling and that is again because I forgot to ping <laughs> I did this tutorial four times and, and, and I, I always forgetting pinning but now if I uh, play with the pin activated you can see that I have my web and now you can see here I didn't explain this in Spanish I forgot about it but you may see here some some uh, details some artifacts like it's to a square that is because the the cache the cache object uh, it has uh, not enough uh, subdivisions as you can see there it's all a square but uh, we want this uh, level of polygons to keep our uh, simulation uh, a bit faster what can we do in this case well you can see uh, the the um, the modifier tree. We have a hook, solidify, and then modifying cloth. All right. Now we're going to add at the last one. The, let's set the size of this. We're going to add a subdivision surface. Okay. And now the cloth should be much much smaller. Um, two problems that came with this one you have to bind again because the number of the vertices uh, have changed so you have to bind this again and you as you can see you have to keep in mind that the box should cover the entire area of the net so I'm going to do this a bit bigger and we're going to bind this again as you, I don't know if you get to see, but there were a number with an exclamation point which says the number of vertex has changed. 
In this case, I'm going to try to um, using a precision number of six. And let's see if this work. And doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, doesn't seem to be working. So I have to do it with seven. Well, this is going to take a bit longer, but more or less the tutorial is done. So if you want to cut this uh, here, it's going to be okay. This is going to process a bit more. And a bit more. And a bit more, as you can, as you, if you can remember, uh, this binding process is going to bind the vertex from the, uh, the net to the vertex of the subdivided uh, cage so it's going to take a bit longer because the subdivided cage has uh, some more uh, vertices to bind to but since the subdivision surface modifier is at, at last on the stack it's uh, it's after the the cloth the cloth modifier the time that is going to take the simulation to, to be calculated is going to uh, keep more or less the same. But <laughs> the binding process can be a bit bit annoying when you have too many vertices. Um, a cage reference also heavy. But believe me that this uh, uh, works. <laughs> Just uh, take some time, and because I want to do this as a quick, quick tip and video, I'm going to uh, say a goodbye and thanks for watching. We'll see you soon enough. Bye.